Well, a tsunami has hit the island nation of Tonga. Take a look at this satellite video. It began with a rumble deep beneath the ocean surface, an event so powerful and relentless that it sent seismic ripples across the globe. Near the Challenger Deep, the deepest point of the Mariana Trench, a massive underwater volcano erupted on a scale unlike anything scientists have observed in modern history. This remote and enigmatic location, long cloaked in mystery, is now the epicenter of one of the most extraordinary geological phenomena of our time. The Mariana Trench, a, a geological marvel located in the western Pacific Ocean, spans over 1,500 miles in length and plunges nearly 36,000 feet at its deepest point. At Challenger Deep, the pressure is so intense it could crush a human instantly without specialized equipment. It is in this alien-like environment that Earth has unleashed its raw power. For decades, scientists have studied the trench for its unique features. Hydrothermal vents, peculiar ecosystems, and unusual rock formations have made it a subject of fascination. Yet nothing could have prepared researchers for the explosive force that has now emerged from this region. A previously unknown underwater volcano has roared to life with an intensity that has stunned even the most seasoned geologists. The eruption began with a series of deep-sea earthquakes. Instruments on the Pacific Ocean floor detected seismic activity far deeper and more concentrated than usual. At first, scientists thought it was a routine tectonic event. After all, the Mariana Trench lies at the boundary of the Pacific Plate and the Philippine Sea Plate, two tectonic plates in constant motion, grinding against each other and causing earthquakes and occasional volcanic activity. This time, however, the activity did not subside. Over several hours, seismic waves grew stronger, reaching magnitudes that hinted at something far more significant unfolding. Oceanographic monitoring stations detected rapid changes in water temperature and chemical composition, clear signs that magma was on the move. The warning signals were unmistakable. A massive volcanic eruption was imminent. Then it happened. Deep beneath the ocean at a depth exceeding 20,000 feet, the seabed ruptured. A torrent of molten magma, superheated gases, and ash erupted into the water. The explosion's force sent shockwaves rippling across the Pacific, while the plume of material ascended miles into the water column. The event was so intense it registered on seismometers worldwide, capturing the attention of scientists and emergency teams. This eruption is unprecedented, not only because of its location, but also due to its sheer magnitude and the mysteries it has revealed. Submarine eruptions are notoriously difficult to study because they occur in remote, inaccessible parts of the ocean. Yet this eruption near the Challenger Deep offers a rare glimpse into the dynamic processes shaping Earth's interior. As the volcanic plume spread, it created a massive underwater cloud of ash and debris. The eruption's intense heat caused surrounding seawater to boil and vaporize, creating a phenomenon called a submarine volcanic explosion. This released vast amounts of energy, generating shockwaves that traveled hundreds of miles. One of the most remarkable outcomes of the eruption is the formation of a volcanic island. Satellite images and deep-sea sonar scans reveal a new landmass slowly rising from the ocean floor. While still submerged, this proto-island is already altering the seafloor's topography. Over time, it could emerge above the water's surface joining the ranks of volcanic islands formed similarly, like Iceland and Hawaii. But this eruption is not merely a geological event. It is an ecological one. The Mariana Trench hosts some of Earth's most extreme and unique ecosystems. Organisms here have evolved to survive in utter darkness, immense pressure, and with limited resources. The eruption has profoundly disrupted these ecosystems. Hydrothermal vent communities, reliant on chemical energy from Earth's interior, have been buried under ash and debris. Some species may face extinction, while others may adapt in ways we cannot yet predict. At the same time, the eruption has created new habitats. As the magma cools and solidifies, it forms volcanic rock that can serve as a foundation for marine life. Over time, these rocks may become colonized by corals, sponges, and other organisms, 
giving rise to new ecosystems in the aftermath of destruction. This cycle of destruction and renewal exemplifies the resilience of life and the dynamic nature of our planet. The eruption's impact, however, extends far beyond the immediate area. The release of gases such as carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and methane into the ocean has triggered changes in water chemistry. These changes could have cascading effects on marine life, particularly in nearby regions. For instance, acidification may harm coral reefs and shell-forming organisms, disrupting the food chain and threatening fisheries that millions depend on for their livelihoods. Concerns about tsunamis have also emerged. While submarine eruptions usually do not generate significant waves, the scale of this event and its proximity to steep underwater slopes have raised fears of potential undersea landslides. If large volumes of material shift suddenly, they could displace enough water to create destructive waves. Coastal communities along the Pacific Rim are on high alert, with emergency management agencies closely monitoring the situation. In the weeks following the eruption, a multinational scientific effort was launched to study the event. Research vessels equipped with advanced technology, such as remotely operated vehicles and autonomous underwater drones, have been dispatched to the area. These tools are offering unprecedented access to the eruption site, enabling scientists to collect samples, map the seafloor, and monitor ongoing activity. The data gathered so far has already yielded fascinating insights. For example, the magma from this eruption is unusually rich in rare earth elements, which are vital for modern technologies like smartphones, electric vehicles, and renewable energy systems. This discovery has drawn interest from the mining industry, which sees potential opportunities in deep-sea resource extraction. However, it has also sparked ethical and environmental concerns, as deep-sea mining could have devastating effects on marine ecosystems. The eruption has also illuminated the deep earth processes driving volcanic activity. By analyzing the magma's chemical composition, scientists can better understand the materials and conditions in the Earth's mantle, where the magma originates. This knowledge is crucial for studying plate tectonics and the role of volcanism in shaping our planet. As the world watches this event unfold, it serves as a powerful reminder of Earth's immense power and complexity. The forces beneath the ocean starkly contrast with the calm surface we see daily, showcasing the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our planet, a planet that is very much alive. The eruption near the Challenger Deep has reignited debates about humanity's relationship with nature. On one hand, it underscores our vulnerability to natural disasters and the limits of our control. Despite advanced technology and scientific understanding, we remain subject to forces far greater than ourselves. On the other hand, it highlights the importance of studying and respecting these forces. By examining events like this, we can gain valuable insights into Earth systems and learn how to coexist with the planet we call home. As research continues, new discoveries are expected, each adding another piece to the puzzle. The underwater volcano near the Challenger Deep has opened a new chapter in the story of our planet, a story still being written. Whether this chapter becomes one of triumph, tragedy, or transformation remains to be seen. One thing is certain. The eruption serves as a stark reminder that we are all connected to Earth's processes. Understanding these processes is essential for our future. In the coming months and years, scientists, governments, and communities will grapple with the implications of this event. They will face difficult questions about balancing exploration and conservation, preparing for and responding to natural disasters, and living sustainably on a constantly changing planet. The answers to these questions will shape not only our understanding of Earth, but also our relationship with it. For now, the eruption near the Challenger Deep stands as a powerful and inspiring reminder of the mysteries that lie beneath the ocean surface. It is a call to action for scientists, a source of wonder for the public, and a challenge for humanity as a whole. As we look to the future, one thing is clear. The story of this eruption is far from over, and its lessons will resonate for generations to come. The eruption near the Challenger Deep has captivated global attention due to its magnitude, implications, and the mysteries it has unearthed. While initial studies have illuminated some aspects of the event, the story is still unfolding. With each passing day, 
scientists uncover new details that deepen our understanding of this unprecedented geological phenomenon and raise critical questions about our planet's future. To truly grasp the scope and significance of this underwater eruption, it's crucial to delve deeper into the science behind it, the unfolding consequences, and the broader context of Earth's tectonic and volcanic activity. This isn't just about a single volcanic eruption. It's about the forces that shape our planet, the fragile balance of its ecosystems, and humanity's role in studying and responding to these powerful natural events. Let's begin with the geological backdrop that made this event possible. The Challenger Deep lies within the Mariana Trench, which is part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. This region is a hot spot of tectonic activity, home to 75% of the world's active and dormant volcanoes and 90% of its earthquakes. The Ring of Fire is essentially a horseshoe-shaped belt of tectonic plate boundaries encircling the Pacific Ocean. Here, Earth's plates constantly collide, pull apart, and slide past one another, creating immense geological stress. The Mariana Trench is particularly unique within this volatile region. It is the result of subduction, where the Pacific Plate is forced beneath the smaller Philippine Sea Plate. As the Pacific Plate descends into the mantle, it melts and generates magma, which rises to form volcanic features. Over millions of years, this process has created an extraordinary landscape of underwater peaks, valleys, and volcanic vents, some of which are now being reshaped by the ongoing eruption. What sets this eruption apart from others is its location near the Challenger Deep, one of the most remote and extreme environments on Earth. This place, with pressure over 1,000 times greater than its sea level, is so hostile that only a handful of people have visited it. Yet, despite these conditions, this eruption has managed to send material and energy upwards, disrupting not only the local seafloor, but potentially the entire Pacific Ocean. The scale of the eruption is also extraordinary. Initial estimates suggest that the volume of magma released rivals some of the largest submarine eruptions in recorded history. This has resulted in the formation of a massive volcanic structure on the ocean floor, altering the seafloor landscape in ways scientists are only beginning to understand. Advanced sonar mapping reveals a rapidly growing volcanic edifice, with lava flows spreading outward to create a new volcanic ridge. If the eruption continues at this pace, it could eventually breach the surface and form a new island. Such an event would not be unprecedented. The Pacific Ocean is dotted with volcanic islands that began as submarine eruptions. In 1963, the island of Surtsey emerged off Iceland's coast after an underwater volcano erupted for nearly four years. Similarly, the Hawaiian Islands were formed by volcanic activity over millions of years. If the new volcano near the Challenger Deep follows this pattern, it could offer a rare opportunity to witness the birth of an island. However, the implications of this eruption extend far beyond geological curiosity. The release of volcanic gases such as carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide into the ocean is altering its chemical composition, triggering ripple effects on marine life. Deep-sea hydrothermal vent communities, already adapted to extreme conditions, now face additional stressors from the eruption. Some species may thrive in the new environment, while others may struggle to survive. The impact on the broader marine ecosystem is also significant. Ash and debris from the eruption are spreading across the ocean floor, burying habitats and disrupting food chains. At the same time, the release of nutrients from the volcanic material are fueling algal blooms in the overlying waters. While these blooms can temporarily boost productivity, they may also lead to oxygen depletion, creating dead zones where marine life cannot survive. The potential for a tsunami remains a critical concern. Although submarine eruptions typically do not directly cause tsunamis, the possibility of underwater landslides or the collapse of the volcanic structure poses a serious risk. If large volumes of material were to shift suddenly, the displaced water could generate waves capable of traveling vast distances. Coastal communities across the Pacific Rim are on high alert and monitoring systems are being closely observed for any signs of unusual activity. In addition to the immediate risks, the eruption has long-term implications for climate and global systems. 
The release of gases and particles into the ocean and atmosphere could influence weather patterns, ocean currents, and even the global carbon cycle. Submarine eruptions are a natural part of Earth's processes, but their effects can interact with human activities such as industrial emissions and overfishing, creating complex challenges. One of the most fascinating aspects of this eruption is the scientific opportunity it presents. Researchers are utilizing advanced technology to study the event in real time. Tools such as remotely operated vehicles, ROVs, and autonomous underwater drones are capturing high-resolution images and videos of the eruption site, enabling scientists to analyze the dynamics of the eruption and its effects on the seafloor. The data being collected is invaluable for understanding not just this event, but also the broader processes of underwater volcanism and marine ecosystems. By studying the composition of the magma, scientists can learn about the conditions in Earth's mantle and the role of subduction zones in generating volcanic activity. This knowledge is crucial for understanding the long-term evolution of our planet and its capacity to support life. The eruption has also sparked renewed interest in deep-sea exploration. The Challenger Deep and the surrounding Mariana Trench remain among the least explored regions on Earth, despite their significance in geology, biology, and climate science. This eruption serves as a vivid reminder of the mysteries beneath the ocean surface and highlights the need for continued investment in oceanographic research. However, this renewed interest comes with ethical and environmental challenges. The discovery of rare earth elements and other valuable materials in the volcanic deposits has drawn attention from the mining industry. While deep-sea mining could provide resources for renewable energy and advanced technologies, it also poses significant risks to marine ecosystems. Balancing the benefits of resource extraction with the imperative for conservation will be a key challenge in the years ahead. As the world observes this unfolding event, it has ignited a broader conversation about humanity's relationship with nature. The eruption is a stark reminder of Earth's power and unpredictability, challenging us to reflect on how we coexist with a planet in constant flux. It is a call to action for scientists, policymakers, and the public to work together in understanding and protecting our world. The eruption near the Challenger Deep is not merely a geological event. It is a story of transformation, resilience, and discovery. It stands as a testament to the dynamic nature of our planet and the incredible forces that shape it. As we continue to study this event and its aftermath, we are reminded of the importance of curiosity collaboration, and stewardship in our quest to understand Earth and our place within it. This moment is both awe-inspiring and humbling, a reminder that even in the ocean's depths, far from human eyes, the Earth is alive with activity. The eruption has captured our imagination and challenged us to think about the mysteries that remain. It is a story still being written, and its lessons will resonate for generations to come. Ultimately, the eruption near the Challenger Deep is more than a scientific phenomenon. It is a window into the power and beauty of our planet, a reminder of our deep connection to the Earth, and a call to action to explore, understand, and protect the world we share. As this story continues to unfold, it will shape our understanding of the Earth and our place within it.